Hallo, uh, ik ben Marike van Roon. Ik ben um, uh, an independent art historian en ik werk als interim manager in cultural organizations. I have been working for the University of Amsterdam more than 30 years for the museum and the library and the archives. But I started uh, one year ago to be uh, independent uh, because I wanted to publish again and I didn't have the time for that. Uh, and I'm also a Wikipedian. I think Wikimedia uh, products are very, very important in open culture. Uh, what are the main benefits of open culture? I think that's quite an easy question and quite an easy answer because I think it's uh, the main benefits are open knowledge for everyone, everywhere, in every possible form. So data, text, images, sound, which is always important, but especially now there's a lot of fake information to be found online and it's found very easy. But good research and images from cultural institutions are uh, for a greater part hidden behind paywalls or they're just poorly searchable uh, or they're only uh, can be used by people who pay for it or work at organizations who pay for it. Um, for me, that's very important because now I'm independent and I'm not part of the university anymore. And a lot of information is hidden. I can't get there anymore. And I live in Amsterdam and I have got a lot of information. But if you live in Africa, for instance, and you don't have organizations that can help you, you can't get to information. So open culture. Please. But there are, of course, a lot of barriers. And I think one of the uh, most important barrier is copyright laws worldwide. Uh, of course, they're important, uh, but they date from a period that we didn't have internet. And we didn't imagine internet about 50 years ago. So, most organizations, they don't have agreements, they don't have contracts with the creators of the images, and they can't publish. So we can publish, I think, everything about everything from before 1940, maybe, depends on the, uh, on the country you live in. But from 1940 onwards, we can't publish anything, and it costs really a lot of time and money to get copyright. And of course, um, the world of internet is international. So we don't have to uh, follow copyright laws of our own country, but also of other countries because the information gets everywhere. So I think that's one of the most important barriers, but of course you, always, uh, you also have got privacy laws. You can't show everyone um, and the other, uh, not big barrier is commercial publishers. Um, of course, this is, uh, they earn the money. Uh, it's all behind paywalls. It's very, very expensive. Uh, universities pay a lot of money for information. Um, and it's very difficult to get to that information. It's, it's uh, very elitist. Uh, you have to have money, you have to have, uh, um, someone who pays for you, or you have to pay it yourself. Uh, the other thing is just the old plain money issue. Uh, organizations have to pay for their own digitization. Uh, if you're small, that's it's not easy, uh, especially uh, it's not only about digitization, it's all about maintaining the information online. So you have to uh, do the maintenance of your online publication and digital preservation. Uh, 
you're not finished when you have got your images online. You have to pay every year. Um, you have to renew your software every once in a few years or maybe a decade. So it's just a money issue for small organizations. What did open up my mind? Uh, I have been working in this sector for more than 30 years. Uh, so I have seen, uh, <coughs> sorry. So I have seen uh, it change. Uh, I started uh, on paper um, and then the computers came and then the internet came and uh, delivering images to people who wanted to use them, that was a source of income. And we had to pay to make images and we could uh, ask people for a lot of money saying we had the copyright, which is not true. We don't have the copyright. Um, the creator of the image or information, that's where the copyright is. But there's still a lot of small organizations and private persons who have got the wrong thoughts about copyright. They think uh, they have copyright because they own an object, which is not true. So that was for me an eye opener uh, that we just couldn't ask for copyright because we didn't have copyright. And I think uh, the choices of the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam were very important because they used to ask a lot of money for reproductions. And then from one day to the other, they said, this is not the way we're going to open up. We're going to publish everything we have and high resolution and we don't ask anything from you, which was quite revolutionary. But I think they were right because uh, it is very beneficiary for your organization to publish. If you see, if you look at publications everywhere at books and articles, which images uh, uh, do they use? The images of the next museum because they're free and they're good. And if you don't open up, you don't exist. Um, they don't use your images because they can't get there or you have to pay a lot of money. So they're not used. Uh, you're forgotten. So it's very beneficiary for your organization to show yourself and just give it away. Um, in the long term, that's really better. So I would advise every organization to look at that. Uh, publish whenever you can. But if you're small, uh, there are a lot of larger organizations or maybe national organizations who can help you. Or you can use them for your publishing your information. You don't have to do it yourself. Um, Wikipedia is one of those organizations that can help you open up your collections. But there are a lot of uh, national institutions. For instance, uh, in uh, the University Library of Amsterdam, uh, we started working together with Google Books, but not directly. Uh, the National Library of the Netherlands, they were the, uh, the contact for Google Books. And they, uh, we had a, just a good contract. So all the books that were uh, digitized, they're open. You can use them. Everyone can use them for free. So look at colleagues, look at national institutions, look at, at international institutions and open up. Uh, you will see it really helps uh, have a plan. And I think if you want to have information on copyright, um, the Creative Commons licenses are very important because it's it's very difficult matter. Um, but you can use them. Uh, there are a lot of people who have thought about it. You don't have to do it yourself. So open up. That's my most important message. Thank you.